Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today is a special day. Today is my 1000th reading and I could not just choose one book. I had to choose two. So this is one of my two and I want for you to meet Nutley, the Nut Free Squirrel. He is my special guest tonight for my 1,000th reading, Nutley. Now, as much as I would like to keep my donuts on, I need to be able to see to read, and I can't with these donuts, so I have to put on my real glasses. We'll put those back on later. Now, this book is called Nutley the Nut Free Squirrel and it is by Stephanie Sorkin and it's illustrated by Tim Warren. Dedicated to my three nuts, Kira, Leah, and Mallory. You make my heart smile. Are you ready? Are you excited like I'm excited to find out what's going on in this book? Hello, my name is Nutley. I know this may sound strange, but I'm a nut-free squirrel. I guess I should explain. See, one day I was feeling starved. My belly growled, so I reached for what a squirrel eats. At the time, I did not know. That nuts were not okay for me to eat like most squirrels do. My eyes puffed up, some hives popped out, an allergy, it's true. After all the itching stopped, I knew I'd need a plan so that this would not happen again and again and again. So I called a meeting in a tree for my pals from far and near. They all showed up to find out how to help a friend so dear. Surprisingly, as it is to all, since I do live in a tree, I must avoid peanuts and tree nuts to keep myself healthy. My doctor said to play it safe, avoidance is best. And once a year or sometimes twice, I'd have to take a test. A squirrel allergic to nuts 
how odd. I thought I'd feel alone till one of my friends stood up and declared, I'm a dog allergic to bones. I know just how you feel, said the fly, a little voice so cute. I have a similar problem, only mine's with pitted fruit. My problem, said the bee, are the trees that bloom. The pollen makes me sneeze. I rub my wings and scratch my back after even the slightest breeze. I hope you all can hear me, said the pelican. My voice is very low. I cannot eat the fish that swim in the water down below. Wow, I can't believe my ears, shouted Nutley. Some others have allergies too. We'll have to keep each other safe like buddies always do. We went around the group real slow and spoke one at a time. We all talked about our favorite treats. Gummy bears are mine. Mine too, Nutley, mine too. Now my friends bring nut-free treats. They really do not mind. I know they love me more and more cause I'm one of a kind. Turn the page for a delicious, nutritious, nut-free recipe. Enjoy. Yummy nut-free banana bread. Did I mention it's egg-free too? And that is the end of Nutley the Nut-Free Squirrel by Stephanie Sorkin. Boys and girls, it is Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. I do not own the rights to this book that I have read to you, but I love storytelling magic. And the magic of today's story is not only is it one of the two books that I read for my thousandth book, I chose this book because allergies and allergy education is very, very important to me. When I first started my career working in schools, I had an allergy child and she had five allergies. Yes, five. And I started wearing these bands. They're called Allermates and I put all of what she was allergic to on my wrist so that I would constantly be reminded of what she was allergic, allergic to and I would be able to remind others when we were in the lunchroom because it was my job to keep her safe. One of the most interesting times of my life when I realized just how much I did not know and that's when I decided I wanted to know. And that's when I began educating myself all about allergies. So I have other books on my YouTube, the Bugabee series books, and they're actually some of my most watched books. If you ever get a chance to check them out, the Bugabees and Buggy Bob's Friends for Life. And I wanted to read this book to, book to you about Nutley because it's near and dear 
to my heart because the author is actually writing from her experience and I absolutely love that when someone is telling a story about something that truly means something to them I feel like there's great passion and great things to learn from it and that's why I wanted this book to be right up there in the highlights for my thousands books so of course you know I'm being silly with donuts because donuts and nuts have the same ending and of course you know the donut whisperer and I have my donut glasses yeah you know there's a little silliness here and there but on a serious note people do die from allergic reactions all the time because whether it was someone didn't know whether um, there was just not a lot of education or help in the room and I want for you to always know that you you can be a good friend to someone with allergies they're no different from you or I they just need someone to kind of look out for them here and there just to make sure they're not getting anything into their system that does not belong there that they are not getting any of the allergy reactions that they would have from something that they came in contact with that they were allergic to so we just have to be a good friend and look out for them which is very easy for you guys because you're naturals at being good friends and looking out for other people that's why we're friends because I love that you look out for me and you love that I look out for you better off reading every day is always looking out for friends so I want to show you here's the book up close and there, there goes Nutley. Isn't he adorable? And inside, here is all of the different things that they were talking about inside the book. All of his different friends that joined him to have the meeting to talk about what they were allergic to. So this is a really, really neat book. Now, I know I've mentioned to you before that I work at a school that is a nut-free school, meaning that you're not allowed to bring anything to school that has any nuts in it. So this way, we're keeping everyone with nut allergies safe. Now, here is Nutley. This is my guy, Nutley, right here. Isn't he the best? Doesn't he look exactly, it's, oh my gosh, look how cute. He looks exactly like his picture. Nutley, you take a great, great, great picture, my boy. Look at you. So while Nutley is there posing for his close-up, I wanted to show you. Here I have my Allermates bracelet. And this is what it looks like up close. See, it has all the different things that you could possibly be allergic to. You have your nuts, you have your eggs, you have your tree nuts, you have your peanuts, you have your dairy, you have your shellfish, and this is the bracelet. Now, inside of Miss Reynolds' coconut purse, yes, it's made out of coconuts. Since we're on the nut theme, I wanted to show this to you. This is the, let's get closer, for people with allergies. This trainer contains no needle or drug and is for training purposes only. Do not use this trainer during an allergic emergency. If you are ready to use, pull red safety guard down and off of this trainer. If not ready to use, replace the outer case. We are not ready to use, so. Do not so. use this trainer during an allergic There you go. 
and we have put it away. So this way you kind of know what one of these looks like when your friends are carrying it around for their safety. We're gonna put right back in our coconut purse. Lock that up. We have our bracelets to help us with allergy ill for information from Allermates. We have our Nutley book. And one last thing, boys and girls, I want to show you before we go. It is my award board better off reading every day 1000 books read since march 12 2020 when i started board i wanted you to be the first one to see that isn't that amazing that's my award now my biggest award boys and girls is the one that i get whenever i'm with you and that's being able to share my love of reading with you. And also to be able to twirl with you. So are you ready? We are gonna do our twirl with our friend Nutley. Are you ready? Nutley is new to this, but he's kind of a pro already. What do you think? He's pretty good, right? Better off reading every day, 1,000 books and counting. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And don't forget, pick up a book every chance you get and read. I'm here to put a little bit of knowledge in your head, a lot of love in your heart, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully make you laugh. I will see you again really, really soon. Love you. Bye.